breaking, Trump uncovers Obama's secret pro-ISIS plot, should Obama go to jail? The mainstream media is using the Russia collusion conspiracy theory to push for regime change in Syria. President Trump is ending a covert CIA program started by former President Obama in 2013. The CIA was arming anti-Assad rebels in Syria, allowing American weapons to flow into the hands of ISIS, according to CBS News. The program will be ended as President Trump continues to push back ISIS terrorists in Raqqa and Mosul. We should not be arming our direct enemies. President Trump made it clear during the election campaign that he would put American interests first. He was not going to be sucked into nation-building or attempts to topple foreign regimes. We have to straighten out our own house. We cannot go around to every country that we're not exactly happy with and say we're going to recreate them," Trump said during the 2016 campaign, via The Guardian. Obama attempted regime change in Egypt, Libya, and Syria, all with disastrous results. Former President Obama's plan to overthrow Syrian President Bashar al-Assad led to the creation of ISIS. In 2015, Vladimir Putin confirmed that the Obama-armed Syrian rebels were immediately taking their new American weapons and joining ISIS as we have previously reported. The Russian president explained that these moderate rebels are just mercenaries working for the highest bidder. After being armed by the Obama administration, they joined ISIS for an increase in pay. Astonishingly, the mainstream media is attacking President Trump for ending the arms flow to ISIS. The press is using the fake Russian collusion narrative to push Obama's hawkish agenda demanding regime change in Syria regardless of the cost. A narrative is being developed across the mainstream media that ending the covert CIA program was made at the behest of Vladimir Putin. The press is attempting to force the president's hand, either he continues to arm ISIS, or they will accuse him of colluding with Russia. However, the American people have thoroughly rejected these interventionist policies. We should be focusing on obliterating ISIS not funding ISIS to take down Assad. Obama should be forced to explain to the American soldiers fighting ISIS why he decided to arm these savage terrorists. Do you think Obama should go to jail for this? Please share the story on Facebook and tell us what you think because we want to hear your voice.